Monday the 27th of September. School is out today and it's tough in time here. Over the next few minutes I'm going to walk through the sheep and just tell you what's going on. Uh, as usual, there's nothing pre-rehearsed, so there'll be a few if, ands and buts as we go along. So we have 32 in here. Um, left the sponges in for 12 days. Pulled them, pulled the sponges on Saturday um, and injected them. Two sponges were missing and the usual old search um, bit of obstetric gel and two fingers and managed to, to get them out. Usually if you're m missing sponges they're there or somewhere they don't fall out if you put them in right um, so you need to probe around there and find them otherwise they're never going to well they're not going to go on lamb for you they're going to get really smelly and uh, as it rots. So that's it the rams we have in here this year and um, that's uh, this one here is a textile bell clear cross. And over here we have a, a full Charlie. I might get him in action now. She's standing for him anyway. Now just, uh, this is 30, probably 40 hours after pulling sponges. The green mark is those that are rattled. The orange mark is our Lynn Ram over there. He has the no mate uh, mark and harness on him, but he also has the apron. So he was just to get them cycling and to mark which ones were cycling. I had attempted to go no PSMG this year and uh, which is quite possible. If you know which ones are cycling, you uh, don't need to give them PSMG. And the ones that aren't cycling, you can give PSMG. So you could synchronize them basically by just sponging alone. But um, a friend of mine just said, you know what, what are you at? For the sake of one, the price of one lamb, just go ahead and uh, sponge, or, uh, give them all PSMG. So I did this year, but next year I'm going to be brave again, I think. And hopefully I'm going to try them with no PSMG. Uh, where are the other rams gone? There we have, um, yeah, we looked at that textile Belclair cross. Oh no, that's the pure textile there, this fella in front of us. And the pure Charlie to the left of him. That's the Beltex. Uh, textile cross, sorry, bell clear textile cross, and the other one then over there with the long nose just to the right. He is a uh, what do you call him now? Border Leicester with a bell clear, I think. So they should be prolific. Anything that comes out of the definitely out of the bell clear. Um, and the border lesser is very, very prolific. So that's the update on the tuppen. Uh, just generally around the farm, loads of grass. It's been a uh, super season for grass for me anyway. I've even taken bales off that paddock up there um, only last week. So the rain just started. It's been such a dry you know, a nice period of weather, uh, great to get work done. Um, in the Haggard over there, I've got uh, a batch of ram lambs left over and they're getting meal, trying to finish them off. Um, so hopefully we'll get them off soon. The old lambs are up here. I'll walk up here, I'll start the camera again when I get up. So just up here now with my Yo lambs, I have a batch of 21 yo lambs. Um, all doubles um, held obviously from my own uh, sheep. Um, they're a mixture of Charlie Textile Cross, um, some lins in there, a few swardables uh, sired to, uh, I think, Charlie mostly, those swardables. 
and some lovely little Milfords here. They're ranging in uh, weight from probably from 37 to 70 kg. Um, the Lynn with the no mark and harness and the apron has been up here uh, getting them cycling and uh, there's a few of them marked with orange you'll see that so we know that some of them are cycling um, they won't be going to the ram now for another few weeks though so I'll have my whatever 32 yo's down there they'll lamb during the midterm break for February so around Valentine's those lamb th those will be lambing and then I'll hold the repeats so uh, yeah <laughs> For the last few years, I didn't hold repeats. I just left the ram with them, and it should end the, you know, you're up all night for too long. So, um, I'll hold the repeats and let the repeats and the o lambs go together, maybe in a month's time. Um, otherwise, I probably won't have the grass as well for them. So, if I have 30 o's, would say if I do well, I'll, if I had 50 lambs, 55 lambs. 30 yos out here in February it'd be hard enough to get grass for them you know uh, so then we might keep the yo lambs and the repeats coming on uh, a month later so these lambs um, primarily fed on grass um, they've been bolused dipped dosed um, yeah lovely lovely healthy batch of lambs I've had zero problems, zero vet really out this this year, uh, obviously since since lambing. Um but other than that, yeah, lots of grass at the minute. That's that's really the top and update, um September twenty twenty one.